Good afternoon, evening, I guess. E good evening, everyone. Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com with a mixer. Yes, we've got a mixer, a nine-box playoff hunt random team baseball mixer number one from jazbeeshobbyland.com. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action. Rex with Last Bot Mojo. There's everyone else. Thanks for getting in. A couple combo teams, Diamondbacks and Marlins are comboed up, and the Padres and Rays are comboed up. Let's roll the dice. Let's randomize each list. Three and a one, four times. One, two, three, and a one, four times. After four times, we've got Mark on the pole and the X line in the 28th spot. I think both of those guys are here. And three and a one, four times for the teams. One, two, three, and a one, four times. We've got the combo spot, Padres, Rays on top. And the, the Cardinals on the bottom. Cardinals. Look at that. All right, so Mark G, Padres and Rays. Optimus Prine with the Blue Jays. Mike Coons with the Brew Crew. Eric with the Reds. Nick with the Mariners. Jared with the uh, Royals. Courtney, you got the Colorado Rockies. Jared with the A's. Paul, you got the Braves. Garrett with the Pirates, Scott with the Twins, Stephen K with the Giants, Oppo Joe Mojo, Big Boys 007 Red Sox, the X Line with the Nats, Eric with the Astros, Chris Parent with the Cubbies, Rich with the Angels, Paul with the Mets, Big Boys 007 with the Indians, Greg with the Dodgers, little Dodger Joe Mojo, David Duffy with the Phillies, Rex Last Spot Mojo, Tigers, Mark with the White Sox, Allen with the Rangers, Greg with the Orioles, Mark with the Diamondbacks Marlins combo, Derek with the Yankees, and the X Line with the Cardinals. Yeah, I saw that. Well, that wasn't me. It was random.org. That helps you out there, the X line. I was like, how did he get his uh, how did he get his Cardinals? Maybe the X line was bribing random.org. Maybe the X line uh, took random.org out on a date, maybe put out on the first date. I guess that helps. Any trades? Amber's thinking uh, Rockies Nationals. Mark G saying, oh, did you really pull both, both combo spots? Think of it this way, Mark. You have four teams now. Now, remember, folks, as you're trading, remember, we've got three 2018 boxes here, one 2017 box, and one, two, three, four, five 2016 boxes, right? So kind of keep in your head who the, who the big rookie names are in those. Got all nine. But, I mean, really, at the end of the day, the good teams are the ones that hit, right? You could get the quote-unquote best team. That team could get zero hits. And the quote-unquote worst team could get all the hits. And it all works out. Giants for Astros, maybe? I'll give it a little extra time just because I know that, that this, there's a lot of different boxes in this break. We haven't done a mixer in a minute or two. Um, folks, if you missed out on this mixer, we've got a, uh, we've got another one in the store. Same exact configuration, same nine boxes, same price, same everything. Well, different hits inside, but the configuration is the same. Price is the same. Number of spots is the same. So if you want to run this back, more than happy to. It'd be fun. This, this would be a perfect night for, for mixers. You can do that. All right, I don't think there's going to be any trades. I gave it I, I gave it a good amount of time. Trade window closed. There's all nine boxes here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, 
and 9. Alright, so here's the official printout here. Nine box mixer. All remains the same, but just officially printed out. I think I'm going to start from the in the past. We're going to probably do that. We'll do the high tech boxes last, but we'll start with 2016 Topps Chrome Baseball Jumbo Edition, which is right here. So we'll start in the past, and then we'll do those the two Bowman boxes right here. So this has Kenta Maeda on the front there back in 2016. Good luck, everyone. Thanks for filling this up. Mixers are fun. It's, a, it's like a sampler platter. Get a bunch of different boxes. See what happens. So we'll go from the past into the present. We'll do 2016, then we'll do 2018, and then we'll close with the high-tech boxes. All right, there we go. Turn this around here. We'll start off with Ryan Braun. That's that's when uh, Jacob Degrom had hair. That's when Clay Clay Thompson's brother was still on the Dodgers. So much has changed. When Francisco Lindor was just thought of as a future star. Manny Machado still an Oriole. And there's Brian Ellington. Rookie auto for the Marlins. Mark Green on the board. Nice, Mark. Autograph to start things off. And we've got Matt Reynolds, purple autograph for the Mets. That'll be for Paul Nixon. 32 out of 250. Yeah, these are good-looking cards. They always do a good job with, with Topps Chrome. Jake Arrieta was, Arrieta was still a Cub. Rex, they should have kept Jake Arrieta. Albert Pujols out for the season. His, his career may be over. Maybe it. There's Ichiro to 275. We'll top load these before they get sent out. Was the uh, was the offer as good as the Phillies offer? I don't think the I don't think the offer was as good as the Phillies offer. I think he would have taken taken it right. There's Colin Ray for the Padres. It's another one for a combo spot, Mark. He got greedy, wanted too much. I don't know. Hindsight's twenty twenty, but. All that you Darvish money could have just went right to Arietta. Billy Hamilton to 99. Oh, the same offer they offered Darvish? I would have offered him more money. 
I would have given him, I would have given him what he wanted. There's Rob Ref Snyder for the Yankees. That'll go to Derek. Sixty-seven out of four ninety-nine. And we should we should be expecting one more autograph out of here. We got David Ortiz, Big Poppy, sixty-seven out of ninety-nine. And James Bazos, rookie auto for the Yankees again. Derek with another one. He did not want $200 million, did he, for six years? That's kind of crazy. That's crazy talk, Jake Arrieta. If that's what he wanted from the Cubs, then you're right, Rex. That, that's definitely, I don't want to be here in Chicago anymore <laughs> kind, of, kind of offer. All right, there are your first five autographs of this mixer. Uh, now let's go to 2016. Let's go to let's go to 2016. Let's start with the uh, with the draft first and look got, look for Mickey Moniak, AJ Puck. Poor AJ Puck. He was supposed. Imagine with the A's doing so well. Imagine if AJ Puck was part of that rotation. He went down with Tommy John surgery earlier this year, but he was poised to he was poised to be a be a great, a great flamethrower. A lot of people seem want to compare him to like a kind of like the big unit. He's kind of lanky. I think he's a lefty. Strikes out a lot of guys. Tommy John surgery. Which is unfortunate because I think that would have been another big, big rookie name for this year. But this is 2016 Bowman Draft Baseball Jumbo Edition. I like the Jumbo Editions. Oh, I see. So what from you were reading, it was it was his agent. Area's agent was just screwing things up. They often do. They got to get paid too. Optimus Prime saying, "Oh, in in this particular year, no, I don't think I don't think this box has anything Blue Jays wise this year. You want to look for um, Bo Bichette in that Bowman box back there. All right, Optimus Prime saying, the agents of the are sports' worst enemies.'" Kind of. Although without them, then then you're letting then you're letting greedy owners just take advantage of players too. There's got to be a balance. There's got to be there's got to be a good balance. All right. As you read in the item description, the paper does not ship, but obviously stuff like this will ship. Will Smith, great uh, catching prospect for the Dodgers coming up the ranks. That's a keeper right there for Greg. Hold on to that one. We got Corey Ray. Those inserts will ship. These refractors will ship too. So we'll breeze past the paper here. And Bryce Wilson. Gold autograph. That goes to Paul Nixon. That card is gold, Paul. Gold card. Two out of 50. For the Braves' fourth rounder back in 2016. I don't know how many autographs we should be expecting out of here. Five? Probably five. Also, John's saying, 
Oh, the player. You want the players' association to to represent the to represent the agents or the players. That could be interesting if they were if they were if they kind of skewed things that way. I think it's too late now. It's out of the donkey. There's Nick Neidert and Nomar Garcia. I like these cards. Nomar Garcia Para. Got Eloy Jimenez, two fifty. Eloy Jimenez will go to the Cubs, of course. Ninety-three out of two fifty. Cubs edition of Eloy Jimenez. That might be, might be a mistake on the Cubs' part. Could be a future star for the White Sox. Can a are you asking AJ Puck? Can AJ Puck hit a bird in midair like Randy Johnson did? Maybe. That is still one of the mo most incredible videos ever. I think it was a spring training game when when uh when Randy Johnson destroyed that bird. It was like a puff of smoke. If you guys look at that video, There's Joe Rizzo, 323 out of 499. Any relation to Anthony Rizzo? Maybe? No? Virginia? Probably not. Anthony Rizzo's from Florida, right? There's a Mariners edition of Tyler O'Neill. He's on the uh, Cardinals now, of course. And there's Will Smith. Nice. This is this is the future. Him and Kybert Ruiz are the are the catching futures for the Dodgers. They're very highly rated. See, he's a late first round pick. Greg, that's a great one. Hold on to that one. The yeah, Asmani Grandal is a free agent at the end of the year. There's a good chance that if Will Smith develops as they think he's going to develop, they may let Yasmani yeah, Grandal walk, start calling guys like that up. And we got green, Matt Crook, 36 out of 99. Yes, Monty Grandal will make a lot in free agency, that's for sure. And Cal Quantrill, if you guys remember Paul Quantrill, that's his kid. All right, so we got three autographs right here. I don't remember how many we're supposed to expect. My guess is five, but we'll see. We're running out of cards. Is that gold? No, it's just a little ship, though. And we got CJ Chatham, 98 out of 150, blue paper. Paul Hudgens asking, didn't they try to fine or charge Dave Winfield with animal cruelty after hitting a bird with a fly ball in Toronto? 
Did they? I don't remember that. That's not going to hold up in court. Oh, it says three Chrome Prospect autographs inside. So there's our three. Oh, did I miss it? Did I miss Car Carter Kaiboom? I'll try to dig one out for you. All right, so now let's go to, that was draft. And now we're going to look for three more autographs in 2016 Bowman Baseball. Oh, it's just a paper card. Ooh. All right. We're still in the world of 2016, ladies and gentlemen. So keep your brains locked in two, from two years ago. If you joined all of our breaks in 2016, some of you may still have some of these prospect cards sitting around. And then may be worth a look because they may have been they may have not been a big name a couple years ago but it could be a big name now you never know that's what's great about that Bowman baseball that's why everyone loves it the value of those cases are always strong even even years later Good luck, everyone. Is this supposed to be autographed? It says International Inc. Or maybe it's just a set. It's called International Inc. And they don't... I feel like I remember this from last time. There's our friend Anthony Banda. Friend of Jaspi's Hobbyland. Ken Tamayeda. And our first autograph is Trey Mancini, gold. Greg with the O's. 10 out of 50. Yeah, I think it's just... Uh, oh, yeah, that it's kind of confusing. I feel like I remember that. We got Jeff Hoffman. Parallel. Nice Carson Fulmer. There's Mondesi's kid, Raul Mondesi. And look at this. Remember Glaber Torres as a cub? 
I actually forgot about that. <laughs> I think Anderson Espinosa is a, a Padre now. And we've got a nice Luis Severino, rookie Luis Severino, 36 out of 250. He's having a great season. Um, for this, the for uh, this the Bowman's the paper doesn't get shipped. Obviously, if they're paper parallels, I'll ship. But the paper doesn't get shipped. And what else does it say? No vet base and no paper base. Yeah, I think you're right. I think that's just the name of the insert set, but some of them can be uh, can be can be autographed. There's Jack Flaherty, Daniel Robertson. There's Aaron Blair. Whatever happened to Aaron Blair? Look at old Ryan Klesko. Remember Ryan Klesko? There's Jarrell Cotton when he was a Dodger. He's an Oakland A now. All right, Rich Reagan, have a good night. Thanks for hanging. There's Mike Nickerack, 499, and Ruddy Jaron. Rudy, Rudy Jaron. 55 out of 499 for the Padres. One for the combo spot. There you go, Mark. Should be one more autograph in this. There it is. And it's Ariel Huardo. Hurado. Kind of a mouthful. There you go. For the Rangers. I think he's he's been making some starts all season long. That goes to Allen. Alan Murdoch on the board. Nice Walker Bueller in there too. Stone Garrett at a 250. And there, oh, there you almost there you have it. There's Lucas Giolito in his Nationals gear. Jeff Bagwell. And that's it. Nice. All right. So those are 2016s. We'll save the 2016 high techs for, at, for the end. We're going to save the high techs to the end. So now let's move on to 2017. That's only high tech. 
What about 2008? Now we're in 2018 already? All right. 2018 Stadium Club Baseball. Two on-card autographs per box on average. Amber, a Nationals fan, she's saying that such a good trade would take Eaton any day over Giolito. What what happened with 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 Lucas Giolito? That was a... He was like number one, uh, number one prospect. I think was ranked number one by like a number of baseball organizations, baseball prospectus, Fangraphs, MLB, Pipeline had him at number one. Baseball America had him up there, and then just kind of didn't work out, and. Uh, now he's in Chicago. He's doing okay. I think he's starting tonight, actually. I, he's doing okay, but not nearly what everyone thought he was going to be. Oh, it was a pressure. He couldn't handle the pressure. Some have argued that the Nationals maybe rushed him through the organ through through the minor leagues a little, a little too quickly. But I don't know. Is his mom a, a celebrity? I did not know that. All right, Stadium Club, which I, lo I love the photography in Stadium Club. It's Dominic Smith, red parallel, red foil. And our autograph is Greg Allen. Nice. Look at him hustling there. That goes to... Big Boys 007 and the Tribe. 9 out of 50 on that autograph. And wow, the next autograph is Miguel Andujar. Nice. On-card autograph for the Yankees. Derek. That is nice. Did I pass a members only card? Who who was the player first stack? You remember who, who who was the player? I don't see. I will. I'll, I'll double check it. All right.
Daniel Murphy black foil on that one. Those are a little bit more shorter printed. The red ones are obviously a little more common. Oh, look at this. Another autograph. Nico Goodrum. Rookie auto for the Tigers. That goes to Rex. Last spot mojo. I think there's only supposed to be two autographs. This is an above average box. Nice. All right, now let's go to, we did Stadium Club. How about we go to Topps Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition? Now, this is 2018 Chrome Baseball Hobby Edition. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a full case random team break of this in the store right now. JaspiesHobbyLand.com. We should do it. We should do it tonight. All right, good luck, folks. Should be expecting two autographs out of here. Good luck, everybody. And then we'll do the finest, and then we'll close out with the high tech. So we'll stay in 2018 for this box and the next one, and then we'll go back in time again to 2016 and 17. A little time traveling here at Jazby's Hobby Land. A little bit of everything. Pull big hits. Time travel a little bit. You know, the usual. After this, I'm not sure what we're going to do. I only see one order coming in. So I'm not sure what we're going to do after this one, ladies and gentlemen. But we'll, do we'll figure it out, I'm sure. Only two final scores, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, the tribe in Cleveland beat the Twins five to three, and in extra innings again. This time, this game was much closer, but same run differential, I think. Brewers beating the Reds in Cincinnati in eleven innings, two to one, which was quite different from like the. 13 to 11 or 13 to 12 game or whatever it was last night. Which was crazy. Christian Yelich going 6 for 6 with the cycle. 6 for 6 is crazy. All right, folks. Good luck. Robbie Ray facing my Dodgers tonight in about 10 minutes, I think, is game time. It's a big series between the Dodgers and Diamondbacks. There's Harrison Bader. Nice one for the X-Line and the Cardinals. Cardinals are shutting out the Pirates right now. 5 to nothing. 132 out of 499 on that Harrison Bader. Cardinals playing some... Ridiculously good baseball. Some Otanis. There's Austin Hayes. 25 out of 25. That goes to the Orioles. Remember, these orange ones are, are uh, exclusive to the hobby cases, the hobby boxes, not the jumbos. So once again, we do have a full case break of this. We can find some orange parallels out of there too which are a special. Should be expecting one more autograph out of here. There it is. Another Oriole. Got Austin Hayes out of 25 and now an autograph. For Greg and the O's, Anthony Stantner. Oh, is this break shutting out the Pirates as well? Garrett has the Pirates in this one. We still have three, four boxes to go. You never know.
We're far from over. All right, so there you go. The first pack or two, Graves. Oh there oh there it is. Right with the little seal on there, I'm pretty sure that's the one. All right. All right, now 2018 Topps Finest Baseball. Good luck, ladies and gents. Rex will be looking for a Tigers Ty Cobb autograph out of the high tech. If, if, if a Tigers... <laughs> if a Ty Cobb autograph pops out of there... Um, That'd be pretty stunning. White Sox currently shutting out the Red Sox in the Battle of the Sox, 4 nothing. Top of the sixth in Chicago. Cubs hanging on to a 5-4 lead at the end of the 8th in Atlanta. And the Yankees with a two-run lead in New York over the, over the Tigers, top of the 8th. We should get more fine. I do like this top's finest. There's Dustin Fowler to 150. And all oh, redemption. Who are the redemptions in this? Travis Shaw for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Mike Koontz and the Brewers. Top should do a Beyond the Grave on card auto set. They, they should just release like 2019 tops like ghost baseball. All right, so behind Ray's Chris Archer, congratulations. You are due to receive a finest orange, finest autograph orange wave refractor. That's nice. Orange wave of... Chris Davis? Chris Bryant? Chris... Bryant, Chris Bryant going to Chris Parent and the Cubs. Wow. That is strong. That's very nice. That is strong. All right, next one. Folks, we've got another one of these mixers on the website right now, jazbeeshobbyland.com. If you want to run another one of these back, let's do it. There's Altuve, 
There's a Cal Ripken Jr. die cut. So I've not seen an autographed version of that Cal Ripken. They exist, allegedly. And we got a finest hour, Ahmed Rosario. Nice one for the Mets, Paul Nixon. Wait, are, are there supposed to be four in here? No, two chrome autographs per master box. We got three, another above average box. All right, there you go. We'll go 2000, well actually we'll go 2016 and then we'll go finish off with 2017. Nice Craig Biggio. And we've got a one of one Blue Jay. Look at that. Troy Tulowitzki and Optimus Prime. One. Is that for John? John Prime with the Blue Jays. What were you saying, John? You think? Got to play the whistle, ladies and gentlemen. Play to the whistle. Got a Tulo one of one. John Prine, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. Looks like we'll be uncomboing the Blue Jays and Pirates for the next one. <laughs> and we got Jose Barrios for the Twins. And that will go to Scott McNulty. All right, next one. Uh, Carlos Rodon, Ichiro. Nice Tom Glavin. We've got John Smoltz, old Smoltzy, 7 out of 99. That's a nice short print of Carlos Rodon. And we've got another twin, Eddie Rosario. So a couple twins boxes there. That goes to Scott McNulty. Love Eddie Rosario. He's gonna be a big part of, part of the Twins. And I think this is this might be the highest level short print, or one of the higher level ones. That goes to the White Sox, of course. All right, boys and girls. And 2017 High Tech Baseball. That's the one with 40 cards. And I actually like this format. 40 cards and two on-card autographs instead of the traditional one that they've had in High Tech. Now we got a lot of parallels in there. Let's see what we got, folks. And everything will ship in tech, just because there's there's so many different layers of short prints and whatnot here. Let's actually set these on this side right here. All right, there's the White Sox edition of Giolito. Then we've got green 
Roberto Alomar to 99. And that's a short print, Kyle. See, if you look on like cardboardconnection.com, folks, you will see all the all the different levels that they have. Out of 200, Andrew Benintendi. You got a nice laser show, Dustin Pedroia, eight out of 25 for the Red Sox. Big boys, 007. These blackout cards are really cool too. And then our autograph is a couple autographs. We got Dan Vogelbach going to the Mariners, Nick LaPlante. And then we've got a nice Luis Severino, 55 out of 75. Nice green. For the Yankees, Derek was a front runner for the Cy Young for mo much of the season. Now, what else do we have here? Got some more short prints here. Nice, nice Koufax. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. A nice uh, nine box break. Nice nine box mixer in the books, folks. I know a lot of people wanted some mixers. We delivered. Thank you for filling it up. We got some nice hits out of here. Appreciate everybody. There's another one of these available on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Check it out, and we will break more with you next time. Bye-bye.